In this video, I'm going to talk about multiplying positive and negative integers using the chef's story, multiplying multi-digit numbers using the partial products method, and multiplying decimals. So we'll start with multiplying integers using the chef's story. And in the chef's story, we have a cauldron containing soup, and we have hot cubes, which are the red ones, and cold cubes, which are the blue ones, and the chef controls the temperature of the soup by adding and removing hot and cold cubes. So for example, if the chef adds a hot cube, the temperature goes up one. If the chef removes a hot cube, the temperature goes down one. If the chef adds a cold cube, the temperature goes down one. And finally, if the chef removes a cold cube, the temperature goes up one. And these actions of the chef represent different mathematical operations. So adding a hot cube is adding positive one. Removing a hot cube is subtracting positive one. Adding a cold cube is adding negative one. And removing a cold cube is subtracting negative one. So how can we adapt this for multiplication? Well, we could write A times B to represent A groups with B cubes in each group. And both A and B can be positive or negative. So if A is positive, this means we are adding groups. If A is negative, this means we're removing groups. And if B is positive, then in the groups we have hot cubes, and if B is negative, then in the groups we have cold cubes. Okay, so let's see how this works with some examples. So right now we can see there's 10 hot cubes and 10 cold cubes in the, in the soup, so it's, it's balanced and the temperature is zero. What happens if we add two groups of five hot cubes to the soup? So let's do that. So there's one group of five hot cubes. And here's another group of five hot cubes. So the temperature is going to go up by 10 degrees. So what this is illustrating is the equation two times five equals 10. And it's positive two because we added two groups and it's positive five because there were five hot cubes in each group. And remember the hot cubes are positive. Okay, so let's uh, reset the cauldron and do another example. So take those 10 cubes out and we're back to zero degrees. Okay, this time let's add two groups of five hot cube, of five cold cubes each. So here's one group of five cold cubes, and here's another group of five, whole cu five cold cubes, and the temperature is gonna go down to minus 10. So the equation for this action is we added two groups, so it's positive two, but there were five cold cubes in each group. So the second number is negative five, because remember the cold cubes are negative. And this came to minus 10. Okay, let's reset again. Back to zero. And this time, let's think about removing two groups with five hot cubes in each group. So here's one group that we can remove. And then here's another group that we can remove. Okay, so the temperature is going to go down to minus 10. And the equation to represent the actions that we just took R uh, is, uh, is this equation here, minus two, because we removed two groups, 
times positive five because there were five hot cubes in each group. And the answer comes to minus 10 because the temperature went down 10 degrees. Okay, let's reset the cauldron one last time, bring it back to zero. And this time let's remove two groups with five cold cubes in each group. So here's one group of five cold cubes, take those out. Here's another group of five cold cubes, take those out. And we can see there's only 10 hot cubes left in the soup. It's gonna go up 10 degrees. And the equation for this action is minus two because we removed two groups times minus five because there were five cold cubes in each group. And the answer was a temperature change of positive 10. Okay, so this illustrates how we can use the chef's story for multiplying positive and negative integers. We'll continue with illustrating multi-digit multiplication using the partial products method in part two of this video.